friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new my name is Alyssa and thank you for stopping by for another motivational video in this video I will be deep cleaning and organizing our pantry plus giving it quite a makeover I'll tell you since we don't really have an official pantry room in this house our pantry solely consists of kitchen cabinets we only have one cabinet that's um, grab and go or at the eye level so I need to make sure it will accommodate the most used product the rest of the cabinets require a step stool in order for you to be able to reach for something so it's going to be quite challenging to find storage solutions for an easy access I also purchased new organizational bins and containers I would like to share with you guys which I will link down below of course so I hope this video will give you some ideas on how to organize your pantry or you'll just find it motivational and yeah let's go ahead and get started the first rule of any organizational process is taking or clearing stuff out I did organize this pantry a year ago when we first moved into this house but as you can see it has gotten quite messy which is normal plus some of the organization doesn't do it for me anymore and I will be using my new favorite cleaning brand, which I recently discovered. It's called Zoflora. I think it's a UK brand and I found it on Amazon. It's non-toxic and their scents are a heavenly, I promise. Although I feel like I am cheating on my good old Fabuloso. As you can see here, I had to use a ladder to clean the upper part of this cabinet, which gives you a pretty good idea on how tall the cabinets are. I gotta tell you, I am a list person. I am big on planning and writing all sorts of lists. I also take any organizational process very seriously with lots of thinking it through. I made a list of all of the spices that we had and I went in the order of everyday, Indian, Asian, and specialty or least used spices. Now, I know that there are millions of choices of spice jars out there, but I personally have settled on these cuties. I mean, come on, what else can be cuter than these babies? <laughs> They are by the brand uh, Luminarch. I will try to link them down below because they go in and out of stock. The label maker I use, if you're just if you're wondering, uh, is by the brand Brother. So I bought this double tier Lazy Susan off of Amazon. I already got two of these, super easy to assemble, and they're so perfect for these jars. Each tier beautifully fits six spice jars. And of course I organize my spices in alphabetical, alphabetical order, starting from top to bottom. Here's the finished product. I absolutely love how the shelf turned out. On the left, we have most used spices. On the right, we have Indian slash Asian. And then in the back, we have specialty spices that we rarely use. Plus, there's room to grow. I'm super happy. And like I said, this is a very high traffic area slash pantry cabinet. So let's move on to the next shelf. So the second shelf will accommodate grains, beans, legumes, and flowers. 
Also, it's one of the most important shelves, but since I had so much stuff on the floor, I decided to tackle the last two shelves uh, first and then come back to the second one. The shelf has pretty random stuff like water, dill pickles, ketchup, almond milk, backup olive oil, etc. However, we do reach for that stuff pretty much every single day, so that's why it's there. And later, I'll add flower canister over there as well. Now, this double tier can organize is meant for soda however I decided to utilize it under canned dog food organizing your pantry doesn't just limit you to putting things in order or beautifully stocking them in containers it's also vital to make things visible accessible and easy to grab I used to just stack those cans on top of each other but then I would have to squat or bend over to see if we had any left so the soda organizer makes it super easy to grab one and it's super fun to refill. And then I put the backup dental treats in that see-through uh, refrigerator bin. Okay, coming back to the second shelf. Here I am refilling these uh, glass jars. I've had them for a long time and they look like they're brand new, dishwasher safe, airtight, highly recommend. And I will link them down below for your convenience. They also keep all of the ingredients super fresh. Either way, none of this is sponsored in this video. I recommend products based on my true experience and their longevity. So the left side houses all of the flowers and baking supplies and the right side has all of the grains, beans and legumes. Of course everything is organized in alphabetical order from left to right. Now since it's impossible to see what's in the back and it's a part of human nature to forget things, I included this list for my own convenience and organizational aesthetics. Highly recommend writing and making lists as a reminder, there is no shame in that and it keeps you up to speed. Now, moving on to the upper cabinet, this extra large Lazy Susan houses all of our specialty vinegars, oils, and sauces. Since it has a lot of products, I made another list to remind me what we actually have. These two white bins are from the container store and they have all of the backup spices organized accordingly. So the first one has everyday backups and the second one has Indian slash Asian plus specialty spices. You guys are wondering why I have so many spices? Well, I cook a lot and I go through some of them pretty quick. So when I was making a purchase, I made sure I would get a bigger quantity. I absolutely love me some good storage containers and oxo is my number one brand i'm sure you guys have heard of it it's pretty much sold everywhere target walmart any home store amazon i was gonna say bed bath and beyond but unfortunately they closed and now it's time to be moving on to these upper cabinet slash pantry as you can see they're somewhat organized somewhat messy so per usual i'll be taking everything out and deep cleaning the cabinets the only space that you can reach without using a step stool is front part of the first shelf so i will make sure whatever i include in there is of vital importance i just want to put it out there no it's not hard for me to use a step stool and no i'm not lazy but a thought should always go in how things are placed if you reach for granola every single morning for example you shouldn't experience any trouble from simply reaching for it and of course my dogs have to make sure i don't slack so they're always close to me the funny part is they always have to lay in the middle of things like i had a maneuver around my dog to get to the table she saw me stepping over her she could care less plus she's a senior and asking her to move is like asking a tree it's pretty much the same effect. 
So here's everything from those four cabinets. Obviously, I will be consolidating lots of things and throwing away anything that's expired. How do you guys go about the expiration date? I personally get rid of stuff the moment the clock has hit the deadline. But I do know from personal experience that some people hang on to things for a tad longer. By the way, if you guys are not interested in the cleaning part, I mean... Cleaning is cleaning. Cabinets are cabinets. Uh, there's no hard math about it. You can actually skip this part if you'd like. But for those who stay, <laughs> I would like to share my theory on cleaning. Cleaning for me is wiping the top of the shelf. Deep cleaning is wiping every inch of the cabinet. Walls, bottom of the shelf, hinges, top of the door, everything needs to be covered, especially the door hinges. People tend to neglect them most of the times. So I'm not really sure what parts the hinges consist of, but there's a hollow space. Oh my lord. I mean, it's just screaming for disaster. So whenever you think your house is clean, make sure to take a look at door hinges. Just a little tip. All right, here's the execution plan for cabinet number one. As you can see, I did some major pre-planning and I also washed all of the storage cabinets. I'm sorry, containers. The only downside of OXO containers is that they're not dishwasher safe. While the containers are drying, I will be tackling our condiments and jars. I went through all, categorized them, and the first pile is what had actually expired uh, or about to be thrown away, which is quite a lot. Most of the organizational tools I'm using are from the container store, but you can easily find them on Amazon as well. Since uh, the shelves are deep, I first included this multi-level organizational rack in the back and then I put two rotating trays in the front. The shelf is solely designated to our condiments and everything that does not need to be refrigerated. While organizing, I pulled out even more stuff that had expired. Going back to the first cabinet, it's time to tackle all of our dry fruit and nuts. And the container size range goes from the most consumed to least favored or less used.
Here I am refilling our black tea container and it's not dirty, it's crystallized, which makes it impossible to take off and I don't know why. So I used to go through this phase in my life where I discovered multiple types of pasta and I had to try every single one. I'm not there anymore, plus my husband and I have come to the conclusion that the only two types of pasta that we love are linguine and spaghetti. I mean, I will eat penne or macaroni and cheese shells once in a while, but they're both not worth a separate container. So I will be getting rid of all of this expired pasta and only keeping two types of it, which I know been freshly bought. A second ago, I showed you a far right cabinet which houses all of the Bosch meat grinder attachments. As you can see, this machine is super functional. It works as a juicer, grinder, slicer, cutter. So I had to dedicate four of my storage bins and segregate the attachments. I used to uh, have it all mixed up in one bin and it was a nightmare. And here's a closer look at the finished cabinet. I couldn't keep up with the footage, so I inserted it once again. I apologize, but it's really satisfying. It took me ages to find a two-tiered shelf that would fit into this cabinet but I finally found it on Amazon. It was either too small or too narrow or too wide. I had this vision in my head, but I went through hundreds of shelves before I finally stumbled upon this beauty. The second cabinet houses all of our teas and we have coffee in the back and the first shelf has all of my supplements and powders. I want to remind you that the order goes from most used to least and then the second shelf over there has extra cookies my husband likes to have with his morning tea and tortilla wraps. Now that these four cabinets are out of the way, I am moving on to two remaining ones. These are all extra storage containers that I washed but did not end up using, so I'll be storing them away. And this extra large white bin is from the container store as well. The upper part of this cabinet is built funny. It has all of the space in the world and you can fit a lot of stuff in there, but it makes it impossible to reach. It's extremely deep. The bottom cabinet has pull out shelves, which is smart, but the upper one can only serve as a partial store storage, which is fine, we're just gonna have to make it work. I'm gonna be using this long wand. I think it's a dusting wand, but I'll be using it as a cleaning wand to be able to reach the back wall.
this yellow bin carries all of our backup stoneware and that's why it's wrapped up in the paper to preserve it from breaking. Now what I'm putting away on the first shelf is our ice maker, travel car cooler, and all of the extra OXO containers that I ended up not using. I only included stuff that's visible to the naked eye on the rest of the shelves and then I made a list for the backup stoneware. Finally, the last part of our pantry is over the fridge cabinet. The first bin has all of the instructions, warranty cards, user manuals for all of the appliances in the house, and the second one is just extra dog stuff. Now that I have more space, I just moved everything out from that drawer over to that cabinet because I'm planning on using this drawer for something else. Here's the cabinet that I was talking about. It's a small appliances cabinet. I love these pull-out shelves. The only downside is they're really hard to clean and you'll see why in a second. Plus, it's a little messy so I'll be taking everything out, wiping things down and giving it a more neat and organized look. Here's everything for the pantry organization. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it inspired you to organize your pantry, whether it's a walk-in or a built-in, regardless. I also hope that you've gotten some ideas on what to do with deep or hard to reach shelves or cabinets. I thank you kindly for watching my videos. If you're new, please consider subscribing and sticking around and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.